GB, if you don't get to the staircase, you won't finish this maze, you won't finish this maze. GB, if you get to the end, you meet a legendary, you meet a legendary. Welcome back for more. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon And uh, this is an LP uh, I'm gonna get stuck I'm gonna get stuck In a trap And it'll piss me off And welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon And my, of course, traditional pre-Pokemon Mystery Dungeon gospel singing That's what that was I don't know. I was thinking about that in class, and I was like, you know what? Gospel singing. That's what it is. Sangin', by the way. Um, welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Um, we are almost done, if not hanging on by a thread, because of how, uh, of how close we are to not making it. I have no more Reviver Seeds. Um, somebody- I don't think- <sighs> Place your bets, folks, because I don't think one- <laughs> One of our- one of our friends is probably not gonna make it. Just saying. Fall picks! No! You wasted the reviver seed, you moron! Dang it. What an idiot. Wasting a reviver seed. A perfectly good reviver seed. That was for me and my teammates. You can see how the hierarchy is here. Fall picks. Clearly, you're not a member of the team yet. Um, oh. Oh gosh, okay, we still have Waterfall. We still have Waterfall, I'm not using our last Max Elixir just yet. Maybe I should give it to somebody. So it's not just like, oh, Jesus. So it's not just like only GB doing it. All right, I've gotta fix somebody's attacks here because they keep trying to use moves. Did you just use your last smoke screen? Did you use your last smoke screen, Quentin, the Typhlosion? Okay, let's see um, what moves our team have here. Cause, okay. Alright, well you're out of smoke screen, which is kind of a bummer because Alfredo is just kinda of messing with stuff. I'm I have a okay, he can't use quick attack anymore. Uh whatever, you're just gonna use bite, you're kinda totally useless. I don't think Oh he has stuff. Oh, because he used my reviver seed, of course he did. But, you know, better than Alfredo We have too many people on our team, I'm just saying. <laughs> having having like all all of these guys is kind of really inconvenient. But hey, we're on the last floor. And oh glory, there it is. How about that? Let us, um, stand on it and use the little push A and B at the same time thing and you'll heal up. And it's making the game slow down like crazy right now for some reason. Do you see that? Oh man, no! No, don't hurt my Vulpix! Don't kill my Vulpix! Don't kill my Vulpix! Don't kill my Vulpix! Aha! I think we did pretty well. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I think we did pretty well for ourselves here. What compelled you to come? The likes of you have no business being here. Let me remind you a little bit of Mufasa. Just a little bit. I am Entei. I live surrounded by the fiery lava of volcanoes. We finally made it to the end of Fiery Field. Now, if we beat this... That's a good question, because I'm severely underleveled. We need to plan out accordingly what we're going to be doing here, because... Oh boy, alright. No, not that. Uh, Quentin, I need to see your moves. <sighs> he's at a smokescreen, and he's almost done. Okay. Alright, I'm making an executive decision here. My last... Oh, did I not have one? Well, never mind then. <laughs> Forget my executive decision. Uh, I thought I had one more max elixir, but apparently that is not true. So. Huh. Okay. We're going to throw this. We're going to use disable. Yes. Yes. Gosh. It's all GB. It all relies on GBs. What? Oh, I thought, I thought a waterfall was my set move, and I was like, we're, okay, we're boned. We're boned. Reset. Go through the hole. Oh, dang it. I accidentally hit. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay. He's still trying to use. He's still trying to use, um, smoke screen, which he can't do. He has two moves left. Vulpix, I hate to ask this of you, man. 
And I know it's kind of... No, not your IQ skills. It's kind of... Messed up. But I really need you to... I really need you to go after him. This is not... This is not good! I didn't know it was gonna be like this. Oh, how much health... I'm not... I don't know how much health Entei has. But, uh, we gotta beat him. Oh, that was good. Critical hit. He's using... Oh, crap. We're gonna lose our... Are we gonna lose our Quinton in this fight? No, I missed! Come on! Why is... Yeah! We didn't lose anybody! Look at that! We did it! Yeah! Oh, sweet! I beat him! We're <laughs> using struggle on everything. God, Fiery Field, you are just one gigantic mega jerk. I lost you. What do you wish? And you'd be like, well, I'm gonna tell you, here's the clear wing. Is this the clear wing? I understand it now. To meet that Pokemon, stand aside. Aha! Entei's fiery blast made the clear wing flare. That was smart. The clear wing transformed into the red wing. The Detroit Red Wings. He gave me the entire team of Detroit's hockey team right now. There you will find the lightning field. You will know your path there. Now go to the lightning field. TV received the red wing. S and gained access to the lightning field. Guess what? We're not doing that right away. <laughs> I think I want to chill out for the rest of this episode because that was some stressful jank. And I hate not saving. Ugh, just in case the recording doesn't work. I've said it before. It's in case the recording doesn't work. I have to go back and do it again. But whatever. Here we go. We did it. We beat Lightning Field. And I'm very proud of us. We did it. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, I don't know. <laughs> unless I actually spend a lot of time off-screen training. I'm not sure uh, how many other teammates I'm going to be bringing along. Did Vulpix not make... Where's Vulpix? I don't know. Whatever, Vulpix is somewhere. And if not here in spirit, um, maybe he's in a different friend zone. I don't know. Uh, but hey, we did it. And now it's time to the go to the... To the go to the... To go to the Makawita do... Wait, look at how many... Look at all these crappy items. All these just plain seeds. I had Orin... Oh, because they were messed up. Right, they, lo they got locked up. I was going to say, what? Say What? Welcome to the Makawita Dojo. Go train. Where do you wish to train? Well, we're gonna do some of the ones we don't, we haven't done yet. And uh, first, starting off with the ground maze. It's just gonna be me and Quentin. I don't have sidebars for this because I never did. Because these floors are only three. There are only three floors in here, and it's mainly just for training. And uh, I haven't done these yet. So let's have a chit chat while I uh, while I go through here. Um. For those of- I'm not gonna just- I mean, I can use my moves, of course, but for those of you who don't know, I have partnered my channel with TGN. If you didn't see the update video, there's an update video of me talking all about it and what it means and everything. Um, while I'm not, I haven't uh, gotten around to, like, setting everything up. I mean, I have set everything up and all that. I've been spending a lot of time working with the proper way to set up and all that and uh so that's kind of why i've been away for a while also the new semester of uh college started so it's been taking me a good amount of time to you know get into a schedule now and um now that i have a schedule and i'm able to uh find time to record and all that sort of thing hopefully you'll be seeing more of me look ground maze three we did it yeah defeat the opposing team to win your opponents are tough they look so tough more like adorable, but for real though, look at Fampy. Daw. Um, on that update video though, I had an I I proposed the idea of whether or not we should just plow away at this or uh, continue on to something else. I personally want, I was thinking about it and there was a really good comment that convinced me and it uh, involved consistency. And uh, I think it's a smart idea to finish this as much as I do want to do a Wii U game or start a new LP or anything. I think this, uh, I think we should finish this. Don't you guys? It started off really great and I just I left you guys hanging for so long. I feel like I owe this to you. I definitely do not feel like there, I undoubtedly owe this to you. Um, yeah, it also took like, uh, I guess a, m a month into 2014 before I started uploading this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I promise you can, uh, trust my reliability now. I promise, uh, now that I've got my schedule all around. Oh, uh, this is the flying maze. Let's plow through this. 
Dang, that was evil, Quentin. Look at us, we're all grown-ups. Me and Quentin. We used to be such a little a little Psyduck and a little Cyndaquil braving the braving the elements. And now I'm a big duck. <laughs> and he's a big rat. I guess what is he really? I guess he's kind of a rat. Um I don't know, have you guys heard about the uh Apparently there is uh they're working on emulation for uh, DS games on the Wii U. Uh, since seeing as though Nintendo's like terrible state of affairs right now. Um, I was almost like considering putting up a rant about how people are reacting to that. And it's just like pissing me off. So I'm throwing a mini rant here. Why do people want Nintendo to go to like iOS and stuff? That is possibly the worst thing you could do. You should you should want to play Nintendo games on their own systems. I don't understand why people are like, I mean, it's a different outlet, sure, but you have to appreciate the way Nintendo sees making games. And a, a lot of, you know, the Call of Duty people are like, blah, 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 blah. Not, not anything bad if you know what I mean. Not like anything bad if you play Call of Duty, whatever. Uh, you know my stance on that whole thing, but um, you know those kind of people, right? Those kind of people who don't accept any other kind of game. Besides, like, yeah, I'm gonna shoot everything. Uh, there, there, you should want Nintendo to play on their own system. It's like an art form to them, and to I don't know, whatever. There's a whole bunch of other more reputable arguments I'm sure you can find across the internet, more so than mine. But uh, I, I mean, whatever. You, you see what I mean. <laughs> um. Yeah, so the Psychic Maze. This is our third one. We're just kind of plowing through this. I want to get to the uh, the Team Mazes, the Team Rumble Rock, and all them, Team Hydro. Show a little bit of difference. Um, I don't necessarily know if Lightning Field will be the, um, the first uh, dungeon we'll be doing after Fiery Field. There is Waterfall Pond, which is kind of short, but I do want to show it because I want to show all the dungeons. All the accessible ones I can get, at least. Um, so that'll probably be next. Uh, we're gonna take away, like, chip away at some of the lesser stuff, um, just to kind of get it out of the way because I want to leave space for the legendaries. Also, other thing, Lightning Field, um, you saw how long Fiery Field was. It took about two and, it took two full episodes, no! What's your destiny, Bond? It took two episodes to, um, fully complete Fiery Field, plus, like, the first few minutes of this episode. So I'm thinking of, uh, playing... Lightning field uh, and post recording it and speeding up the gameplay a little bit, like I talked about earlier. Um, I think that uh, that might be a good idea, just so like you're not spending three episodes watching the same dungeon. Especially this will this will like undoubtedly happen with the uh, with the um, later like super long mega floor dungeons, mega floors. Yeah, that's what they are though. Dang, that's cynical. Cynical. Quentin is a heartless mf -er, man. He's just like, is that a tree? <laughs> Sets it on fire. He doesn't care. <laughs> but honestly, why would you? If you saw Sudowoodoo just posting up by the stairs, would you would you shoot fire at him? I'm pretty sure. Deforestation. Oh, hey, we're level 37. I feel my explosive power building. That's a very weird thing to say. We need to level up. <laughs> like, real bad. There might be a, a, a gap where I do that or something between two episodes. Who knows? Um, but seriously. Defeat the opposing team. Oh, look, a Pupitar. I don't know what it was, but um, I really... It was weird because, you know, Tyranitar and Larvitar and stuff. I really, really liked Pupitar. And it's weird because he's Pupitar. And uh, between the three, for a long time, I actually preferred him best and was kind of upset to see my Pupitar evolve into Tyranitar. But, uh, we've grown. May the success drive you even harder. That's the Makuita Dojo! <laughs> like, hey, don't go in my house. You're going to the Ghost Maze. The Ghost Maze. That's where you're going. Don't go in my house, man. <laughs> oh. Speaking of Pokemon, was anybody surprised to see Lucario added to the Smash Brothers roster? I was. I... Uh, for the, I've talked about it before, I, I worked for Geek Insider over the summer, which is a, a like a, it's a, it's like a geek culture online uh, magazine sort of thing, and um, I wrote for them, and 
Uh, one of the things I wrote about was an entire prediction list of who was coming back to Smash Brothers and who was going to get the axe. And Lucario was one of my top choices of who wasn't coming back. Because, I mean, I figured, I was like, oh, they'll bring in, like, Zoroark or someone from uh, Generation 6. But it's weird. Is that not weird to you guys? I don't know. I was just like, really? I'm not that anything's wrong with Lucario. I love playing as Lucario, and I look forward to doing it again. But I just find it a little weird that, uh... He's back. Like, no Mewtwo? No Mewtwo with a Mega Evolution? I guess maybe Lucario will have a Mega... I didn't think about that until just now. Lucario does have a Mega Evolution, so... It's possible that maybe they'll throw in his Mega Evolution. <laughs> I don't know. But, that would be, uh... Huh. That would be interesting. I wonder how that would work. Maybe that's a Final Smash or something instead of his... Oh, that would be... That'd be something. Because we've already confirmed that there are Final Smashes in this game. Uh, we've seen... Uh, we fit trainers final smash, which is that she sends a bunch of she does like the Mario fireball with a bunch of we fit poses I think um, I'm looking forward to playing as her. She looks interesting real wacky. I think that'll be uh That'll be it'll add a different sort of flair to this Also uh, for those machinimators out there. It'll give uh Have another female character to represent your character instead of Santa's peach or Zelda. <laughs> I Know your pain Defeat the opposing team to win. Yeah, I used to machinimate in case people didn't know. <laughs> I guess I've kind of... It's kind of been a super long time since I've really done that, so I've kind of lost that connection, I suppose. But that was a thing for, like, a long time. That's why uh, the channel is Golden Bolt LP and not Golden Bolt. Because the original one, just Golden Bolt, is... Um, my Machinima channel. Uh, may the success try to do even harder. My, we're gonna do one more? How's that sound? How's that sound, everybody? The dark type maze. We've almost finished these uh, these mazes. I figured it's a good time to get them out of the way. Ooh, very spooky. Oh, Poochiana, you're a Pooch hyena. Took me forever to actually learn. I think I've I've probably said that so many times. I don't know what I've said on this show. <laughs> um, this show meaning Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I don't know what I've said. I'm sure I've mentioned that Pooch hyena. It was like an obvious, like, oh, that's what it means. Uh, but that's totally what I was like when I found out. Uh, I also wish I really had a means of recording 3DS because, man, I'd like to bring you a Pokemon X and Y uh, playthrough. I'd love to do it. Um, as an LP. Not an... Not much of a secret there, but uh, who knows? Maybe sometime in the future I'll be able to for afford that ridiculously expensive capture card and uh, bring you a bring you a 3DS game. Um, but who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll do one of the uh, old Super Skarmory things where he would uh, film his film his DS. But you'd have to get a pretty high high quality camera for that because. I like my stuff to be in pretty high quality, and I don't know about just like putting a phone camera up to 3DS is not cool. Not at all. Um, yeah. So we finished a whole bunch of mazes, finally finished the fiery field, I'm so pumped about that. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's great. I see it in your training. I've shown your worth. I've shown my worth many times, apparently. Uh, how much, what do we have left? Uh, where you wish to train? We've got, ah, oh, steel, and then we're going into the team mazes. Sweet. We might uh, pick up where we left off with that in the next episode, and then uh, we'll probably check out some of the other less important mazes. Um, by mazes, I mean dungeons. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for putting up with me patiently. Um, uh, check out TGN, because now I am part of them, so I can say that now, and it's super exciting. Again, I said exciting again. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. And we'll see you guys next time.